Uh, today I'm looking at a reach-in uh, serving refrigerator for uh, cold drinks. Uh, the sides are what's supposed to frost up. It, they've been putting ice in it and said that the bottom wasn't getting cold, but the sides were. So let's check this thing out. It's, uh, they turned it off. So we'll kick it on here and see what works or what doesn't. Well, that didn't work. All right, let's get into this. All right, I found a breaker tripped, and that's why none of this stuff was running. This is like a little outdoor mall area, so uh, I feel some, definitely feel some heat coming off of it. I don't think we've got Definitely building it. We're gonna shut that. All right, so it's a uh, little coping. Uh, this is a 134A system, and it's the um, super special uh, no cover on the start components edition. We have a capacitor hanging out back here. Wonder if it fell off in there at one point and got kicked down the road. See the temperature control back in there. Yeah, this motor is definitely she's tight. I'm gonna have to get a motor. I think I've got one on the truck and uh, swap that out. But the compressor seemed to be working. It was building heat. Yeah, that's beautiful. She's a beaut. All right, let's see if I get that motor. I ended up having a replacement motor. Looks like it was a clockwise, like a 9 watt, 115 volt. Get this pulled out and yeah. might run for a few more days. I can't believe it was. This compressor's from 2000. I don't know how old this box is. This thing looks like it's been around. Like I said, it lives outdoors. Uh, it's like an open air mall area for a concession. And it just ties into the uh, overload and into the start relay here. those off and swap it out. Alright, got the old girl out. Uh, definitely pretty seized up there. It's been and rusty. Definitely. Yeah, it's hard to make out but I could see it was clockwise 115 volt. It's just the four bolts there and swap out the fan. It should be flying again. This, I'm going to have to do something about not in that capacitor up there. Yeah, I can do it. And I found a name. It's a Galley. Uh, model 92347 So it looks like this is probably from the year 2000, it's 134A refrigerant. So now you know. In Jupiter, Florida. So it's from my end of the country. And it's a little bit north of where we're at. Alright, so we got it wired in there. Fan motor's free. Just mounted that there and found a 3M approved relay cover. So let's give it a shot. Spinning. We're just going to uh, put that back in the hole and we'll turn it back on.
some frost on the sides here. Well, they didn't waste any time putting the product in here. So, but we're frosting up good. And we'll just uh, let it ride. Alright, thanks for watching.